Okay, so this is for adding an opacity map to your material. So the first thing that we need to do is enable the material to hold opacity. So we're going to go into the shader settings on the right hand side here. It looks like a little ball with a cog on it. And what we're going to do is change this from the standard metal rough shader to this one here, which is PBR metal rough with alpha blending. So when we select that, it will allow us to add an opacity channel to our materials here. Okay, so that's that done and selected. The next thing that we're going to do is um, go into, so select our foliage material and in texture set settings, we're going to scroll to the channels part and you'll see there's a plus beside channels to add a channel in. So we're going to add a channel and that's the opacity channel there and that will allow us to mess around with the opacity settings in the layers here. So clicking back into our layers tab, we have the standard layer one that's there. I'm just going to delete that and create a new fill layer. Okay, so this fill layer is filling this entire shape. And instead of filling this with color, we want to just edit the opacity with this fill layer. So I'm going to rename this to opacity. And then in the properties here, I'm going to turn off the color, the metalness, roughness, normal, height. So all I'm left with is the settings for opacity, OP, that's turned on there. So you see if I scroll on that, white basically means completely opaque and black means completely transparent. All right, so I want to leave this really, really low so that I can see that it is translucent, but I can see where my um, faces are here to be able to draw onto them. At the very end, we're going to pull that right down into the black just to make it completely opaque before we export our maps. <coughs> so that's the setup. And um, the next thing that we need to do is decide where this is going to show through and where this is going to be opaque. So to do that, we're going to add a mask. And instead of adding a black mask like you normally would, we're going to add a white mask. So the white mask will do nothing as standard. But whenever we paint on it, it should show through. Okay, so we're painting there in uh, black. I'm just going to pull up the properties of our paint. We're painting there in grayscale black. Um, so we're just painting black over that white mask and it's showing through into the... Um, uh, it's showing through as non-opaque for those areas. If we press X on our keyboard, it'll change that to white, and then we can erase out using that. So um, that's an easy way to go back and erase things. So you can just hit X to draw, and then X to erase out to draw different parts in. Okay. So very quickly, I'll just draw a couple of uh, vines here, or a couple of things hanging down from our tree. You can see here where I've overshot above the tree and obviously you want to press X and then delete those bits out so it's just starting where the tree is. Okay, so let's just use that as our test here and I'll connect that up. Alrighty, so um, th we've decided what's going to be opaque and what's not. I'm just going to go back into, this is the map we're editing, The sorry, the mask. I'm going to go back into the layer and I'm going to pull this down so that it's completely black, completely opaque. Okay, so that's exactly the effect that we want to create there. It's perfect. The next thing I want to do is add color to this. So the color is turned off on this fill layer. Instead, I'm going to use one of these layers here to bring in some color. Okay, so you could use any one of these. Let's use this bronze because it's already slightly green and it won't be metallic because uh, it's all corroded. So I'll bring that in below. Great, okay, there. So um, I, I could just add in a fill layer or a paint layer below here. I've just used bronze because it has a wee bit of texture in it to show you how that can look. So the color is from the maps that are below here and the opacity is from this map here already. And that's pretty much you there. You can always go in and edit whereabouts your things are drawn in by editing the opacity layer here. And if you want to add colors into this, like flowers and things like that, you could go in and you could add a, say, a paint layer. And then you could um, change the color. And you could draw, you know, colors in there to add like flowers or add variations and things in. All right, and again, it's only going to paint over where your opacity layer is showing through. Okay, unless we detect that opacity and then you'll see the whole thing. 
And that's pretty much it. Whenever you go to export it, just make sure you're exporting the opacity map as well. File, export textures. And you'll want to check in your foliage material that the opacity map is enabled. And then that will come out as a black and white map that will be able to be used in in Unity or in your portfolio builder like Sketchfab to say where things are meant to be and where they're not for that opacity. Okay, so basically what will come out is a completely uh, white map to show that everything is showing and then black over these areas that are hidden. I hope that helps.